Infinity Vibration reading for the Scorpions. Scorpions. Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. It is the second week of October 2017. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Please like, share these videos and thumbs up. I want to say to each and every person out there, I am so appreciated and I, I thanks for everything. Um, please remember to go back and listen to the monthly videos because there are information that is in the monthly videos that you will not get in the weekly readings. Okay, I am seeing a lot of information that came in the monthly videos for a lot of the signs in this week is coming back. So please go back and listen to the monthly video. And I will say that, you know, whenever it's the week, go back and listen to the weekly readings there because they are going to help you to understand what to expect in the week. Well, this week is the energy of water, so it's a wonderful, positive week for you guys, and miraculous things are going to happen for you guys. I see the Ace of Pentacles here, your own self, especially this is going to be a week for the people between the ages of 18 and 35. So that means it's for people who are, you know, um, 18 to 35 is 20, the 20s, the 30s, and that sort of a thing, okay? So it's a positive week for you, Scorpion. And what is happening here is that a lot of positive energies are going to come in for the Scorpion that has been working on a positive energy, okay? You have the number eight, energy, the eight of uh, um, ones. Eight of ones is a lot of message, a lot of information will be coming in for you scorpions in this week okay so if you're looking for a job a lot of truck coupling is going to be coming in um, for you guys so whatever is happening in the lives of the scorpions it is going to be a very positive one okay let's go ahead and see this I'm getting the message that there's a lot of scorpions especially scorpion women that has um, you know gone beyond and have done something to um, people unjust um, you will be receiving back that unjust the moon is here ace of pentacle is double so a lot of people this can be um, people are getting paid um, payout the end um, people are getting a lot of payouts that is happening to you whatever that is um, so if you have done something injustice now you're going to get you're going to get a lot of payouts um that is going to help your relationship your love relationship but it's not going to help you in a positive way so that was a message that came out don't know what that message about and who that ma that message was for okay we have the uh, scorpion the princess of cups which is the scorpions between the ages of 18 and 35 on Monday, you are going to have a connection with someone who is of a past, um, yeah, a past life um, situation that is going to happen for you. So, someone from a, a, a someone from a past life of a soul connection, you're going to be connecting with. Okay, that's on Monday. Whatever the situation is, that is on Monday that you're going to be connected with someone of a past life of a, a past situation that has been happening sometimes I like to go deeper to find out but I'm getting the sense that it's going to affect some people not all people what is so wonderful about Tuesdays for you scorpions the haste of Pentacles come twice the ace of Pentacles come twice this is going to be big for you scorpion whatever is happening the ace of Pentacles Tuesday is going to be a day money is going to be coming at you so whatever is happening um you scorpions money is going to be coming at you you scorpion so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive so you scorpion whatever you are doing whatever you are whatever situation that are happening in your life money is going to be coming to you in the middle of the week we have the moon the moon energy is the moon is the energies of your and this came out also for the the pisces and i was thinking pisces i hope that it didn't come back out you have the eight of ones twice so the number eight is infinity abundancy you have the ace of pentacle twice so uh, 18 one and eight this is going to be good for you guys you have also positive positive energy so there's a situation where um you know you and 
this is this is this is the energy of you watching the Pisces and the, the Scorpion people. You know, it's as if they're coming up in your reading because the two fish is a, is a Pisces and the, 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 the crab is a Cancer. And you're looking up at, you know, you are watching them go at it and you're taking this week to be very quiet. And a lot of messages, a lot of information will be coming at you. I would say to you people, buy the lottery in this week, okay? And you're, you're, you're saying, why you hold up a card, buy the lottery in this week. Um, there is a, a double a double whammy, which is the two of, uh, of pentacles on Tuesday. Buy the lottery there. It's twice the eight of ones. Buy the lottery. Um, on Thursday, you have a situation to do with the princess of ones. Princess of ones is a Aries Leo or um, Aries Leo or um, a Sagittarian. And there is a happy family life. And this is good because the Ten of Cups is positive because, yeah, you receiving a lot of money. Of course, this person is going to be happy. I, you know, money just make people happy. I don't really understand why is it the energy of money makes people so happy because, uh, you know, there has to be, there should be happiness even if you don't have anything, okay? So if you're going to be only happy when you have money and people will think something is wrong with you. No, nothing is wrong with me. I think that we should love each other even if the person has something or doesn't have anything. I have, you know, lived my life like this. It doesn't matter who you are and what you have or what you don't have. Once you are someone with a positive energy and um, honest and work hard and try to get your life together, I respect you for that. So if you're just going to have a happy time because your partner has money, yeah, then there is something wrong with this relationship. There is The relationship is not based on love. On Friday, we have the energy of the star, and this is wonderful, the energy of the star, but yet still some people are going to have regrets. The energy of the star comes out, and um, sometimes luck brings a lot of hate hatred from other people and a lot of um, jealousy, and this is what is happening. Um, it's a bit like you have lost two of the cups, but don't worry about it because, you know, whatever it is, this energy of the star is as if in the past there, were, there was things that you have lost. And uh, um, don't worry about that because the energy of the star is bringing your wishes and dreams. So this is going to be good and positive. As we move on and we're looking at Saturday, another wonderful energy is the two of pentacles in reverse. This is good because you have the Ace of Pentacles on Tuesday twice, and then you have the Queen of Cups. So um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Cups. So this is a positive, positive energy. What, however you may look at this, whatever financial situation you were having, you're not having it, it, it anymore. And someone who is a Pisces, a Cancer, or a, or, or a Scorpion is going to help you to get your financial balance back and this is going to be extremely good so um for some people if your mother or stepmother or godmother or whoever a mother figure is a cancer she can be a pisces a cancer or a scorpion and i said cancer she's going to help you to get back get yourself back on foot as we go forward we have the energy vibration of the four of cups you're no longer in boredom or whatever you're getting on with your life new love is coming in and this is positive so you have the four of cups in reverse and then you have the ace of cups upright and this is positive because whatever is happening new love is coming in your life so you are not bored you're not anymore wondering when is it going to happen what is going to happen is it ever going to come because it's going to happen for you okay I'm sorry I'm still having my breakfast <laughs> I have my my smoothie every morning and this is Dunkin Donuts morning because it's Sunday okay so as I look at your week the first half of the week this week is going to be positive for a lot of people money is going to come in your life money and love is going to come in your life please buy the lottery because we have twice the not the um, twice A's Twice the a the ace of pentacle twice on uh, on Tuesday is going to be a very very lucky day for you um Scorpion whatever is happening on Tuesday it's going to be a very lucky day um then we have the eight of ones twice 
so the eight of wands is infinity abundancy for a lot of people if you're this is a week if you're looking for work if you're looking for connection if you're looking for changes if you're looking information will be coming at you you have twice the eight of ones this is a very positive omen if you're looking at a lot of people are going to be come very popular and wise in this week because you have the eight the number eight is infinity abundance one and eight is going to be a very very positive you have the energy of the star it's going to be as a very positive week I'm working with unicorns and let's see what unicorns have for you scorpions in this week we have the queen of the unicorns and I love this uh, the queen of the unicorns um, this is wonderful this is positive if you work with the angelica Rome and the night dimensional beams the unicorn is one of them that will wish your wishes and dreams will come true um, and the queen of the unicorns are going to be here in this week and what the queen of the unicorns does she blesses you with love and compassion and wisdom she blesses you with love compassion and wisdom so if you need a blessing of love compassion and wisdom call upon the queen of the unicorns and she's going to come in and bless you with love compassion and wisdom as you look at the number on that card too is number 43 so it's a seven you're on the good part um, the good part in your life and the queen of unicorns and I love I love unicorns I love them so much um, the queen of unicorns has an open heart a third eye and crown chakra she represents the divine feminine call on her to act with true wisdom and compassion and your affirmation affirmation is I act with wisdom and compassion I act with wisdom and compassion so say that um, throughout the week when things are going on I act with wisdom and compassion I act with wisdom and compassion and this is what I gave a, a, read, a reading for a thank you video and you can go back and uh, find this video on YouTube and I you know you have to act with wisdom um, and understanding towards certain people and certain things that happen in your life and happen against you and um, it's, it's, it's not one of the are the easiest thing but when you reach the point that you know you're going to scream because something happened or you're going to be so upset all you say is call upon the angelical beams call upon the queen of the unicorns and said I act with wisdom and understanding please bless me with love compassion and wisdom because sometimes people do you some things people are so sick from within mentally not normal that can do some things and you think oh my god and what you do at that time call upon the queen of unicorns to come in and ask her to bless you with love compassion and wisdom and she will I'm saying to you have a wonderful wonderful um, week and I'll talk to you next week guys